All right, so this is a heads up. There is going to be spoilers in this for the Tremor 7 2020. Um, and if the setup of this video looks different, it's because I'm trying to get ready to try different things out for next year. Um, so after Christmas, I'll be doing something different for how long. I don't know. This particular thing will be for this year. I don't know. Um, so as you know, I absolutely hated well, I enjoyed it, but I absolutely hated everything else about it. Uh, the movie in general of the second of uh, the sixth one. This one is definitely um, something completely different, kind of like a whole new movie to compare to the last six, especially the first three. Uh, a billionaire played by Rich Richard Drake is a tech guru, I guess some sort of tech biz billionaire who him and a scientist and a, a black actress named Cassie Clare, uh, her, her, her real, her real name is uh, Cassie Clare, uh, have these genetic tremors, uh, or para graboids, and they put them on this private island and they take uh, risky seek, uh, rich people to usually from California. It sounds like, you know, those type of things in the movies, uh, to, and probably in real life, most likely. Um, uh, I know that's a huge thing with, uh, poaching and stuff of, of, well, it's not poaching by law, but, um, but, you know, taking people that they don't know that get, that pay them millions of dollars to go and get a thrill out of hunting these uh, exotic animals. Uh, they, this one is obviously up on the whole other level. The movie was so much more serious, uh, so much more uh, better than the first one. I mean, than the, not the first one, because the first one was great, okay. Um, no, I'm talking about the, the six, which is, again, the last one. Um, the cinematography was definitely way up there. Uh, definitely a lot more of it. They had it in the first, the last one, uh, but it was just a bit, you know, lacking because they only had a little bit of it here and there, and it was usually of the stretched up moments with the uh, with the shots of them shooting out of the building and whatnot. You, you know, you can imagine use your imagination on that. Um, you probably saw the film if you're seeing this review. Um, but they had a lot of cool scenes in here, a lot of done stuff, and they had a part in here with a flamethrower that they stretched out, but I actually really loved it. Um, I, there's just really cool cinematography parts in there. Um, the characters in here I actually did like. Um, Richard's uh, character in here, I, I saw him before and I can't p replace where, but where I get the idea that he's kind of, uh, that this movie might suck if he's in it. Um, I don't know what else he's been in, but I do recognize him. Um, but I, I like this character actually a lot, and I liked all of them. I like him in between Bert's character's uh, banter. Um, there's definitely some issues with this, and I'll get to, uh, back into the other part, but um, definitely, they, again, they had some stretched out parts, and they, there was this one, there's two parts of Burt's where, it, where he was just going and then stopping, and as I was happening, they were doing the dramatic shots and explosions as the, the, uh, grab boy was going, and then there was the whole, they, they, they didn't do it anywhere as much, and you gotta keep in mind this is an island, so it was on the other island, somehow they got over here at later on, so, but, is that being kept in mind? Yeah, they, they definitely did walk around with uh, little tremors or, or under the ground. And it was more of this specific part in there that actually really kind of got me off guard. I didn't really like. Um, I thought it was cool, but they were, Bert was talking under a, a tent with two other people. And he got onto the ground and because uh, he knew it was right under him. And he put his ear up there and he started talking to it, uh, you know, kind of philosophically. Uh, I thought it was cool again, but I thought it was really stupid at the same time. 
Um, something that got spoiled for me and I didn't really, you know, fully recognize it at the time was when I was going through Google that before I watched the six, uh, that his character dies. And so that's pretty much the actual big spoiler of this. Um, but you know, I didn't really, I thought it was originally in the six. And then I also at the same time was in denial about not thinking it was real, not, um, Oh, man, I honestly didn't think I was going to be any any emotional when his death was going on. His death scene was a bit... Uh, I'm trying to debate if it was a little bit stupid or if it was uh, poloic. Uh, I think it was both. Um, but, you know, they don't take a story, but they... they um, in the credits, that that's I, I didn't even tear up a little bit until they showed the montage of him at at the very at the um, in the in, beginning of the end credits. So I didn't really watch all of it. I just watched up like a minute of it, you know, and I started getting teared, uh, you know, a little bit. I'll, I'll admit it, and I was actually surprised. Um, another thing they show in here is they have a whole they have, they shovel a lot of um, not references to the other movie and they have a part in there where they do show that have that in there and then actually we did a really good job with it i can appreciate it unlike the stuff in there but they they because this is on an island in the jungle with a high budget camera and all this dramatic shots um they they added some stuff that are iconic scenes from and some iconic they talked about some iconic scenes as well that's more from prayer but they had some iconic scenes from with their own little twist to it on on Jurassic Park. So I thought that was very, very interesting. You know, I didn't hate it. I actually didn't think it was cheesy. I thought it was really well done. Well done. Uh, there was absolutely barely any jokes in here. And they clearly took it seriously because in this one... When he said the name of the Ass Blasters, no one even smirked. And I was actually surprised that there was no even a smirk. And the other one, they made, uh, they, they, the whole lobby of uh, scientists were just having this, all this very forced, uh, cringy laugh to them. You know, you could clearly tend it was forced. Um, but yeah, I actually surprisingly really love this movie. Um, that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments what you thought. But in the meantime, keep this in mind, I gave this four out of five stars. Um, I love you all, and uh, skull, everyone.